Thank you, Shun President. So here we go again. The latest in a barrage of new defence splurges. On top of the billions we're already blowing on military research and production, we now have another 350 million on military procurement. The priorities could not be clearer. There's never enough money for health, for housing, for education or public services. Working people have to tighten their belts. But as the Act shows once more, there's always money in the bank for bombs and bullets. If it's more shells and missiles and cluster munitions and depleted uranium, money's no object. We can always come up with a couple of billion so working class people over here can go over and kill working class people over there. Well, you'll never have our consent for that. The security we demand is the security of a decent job and a place to live. The defence we want is a defence of our rights, even as those rights are attacked by the governments of Europe and even as you sign up to bankroll slaughter. We reject a Europe that robs from the poor to boost the profits of the arms industry. Militarisation is never the answer.